What's up, everybody? Hey, happy Thursday. We are on 5.35 a.m. And uh, this is Run 2 Gun Reps. You know we've been rocking it because this is the end of 17. This is nothing new. But if you are jumping on here for the first time, we've been doing this since the beginning of 2021 because we told ourselves this year that we had to be doing it differently. And in order to do it differently, we have to do different things. So thanks for jumping on this morning. And uh, thanks for joining us if you haven't been joining us. We cover a lot of different topics and uh, it's just some quick thought processes, quick motivation to help you stretch and train the mental muscle because we know we've been talking about physical training. We know that a lot of you have been physical training. I've been physical training for years, but then there's a point where you have to train the mental muscle intently as well. Obviously you gain progress and gains in the mental muscle from physical training that is a wonderful benefit from learning how to physically train hard and consistently and have discipline there but when you're intentionally training the mind as well uh, with new thought processes new thought patterns um, renewing can happen changing can happen in the mind and it can happen every single day actually as well um, and that is a biblical statement but today i was talking with a client yesterday and uh, we talked about a really difficult session she did on Saturday morning she did the elevation um, on Saturday morning and I talked a little bit about that on Tuesday with you and uh, we met up we were doing a 45 minute session yesterday and we were kind of catching up about that Saturday and some of what she said really struck with me as well and a couple people's did but one of the things that she said was uh, it was Obviously, it was very challenging, and she's like, it was that right type of challenge. And what one of the girls said, it was the challenge that I didn't know that I needed. And that really just struck a chord with me. And then another another girl said, it was just like, man, we really need to be, I, I, I was challenged and I was sore, but I didn't know I needed to be challenged. So these similar statements being made and how important it is and how much we must do things that are challenging. Because she told me then on Sunday, she went to the track and she's not a runner. And she's like, I ran a mile. She's like, I, I walk, ran a mile. And uh, she's like, it wasn't fast. I wasn't going to beat anybody. But she's like, and I had to self-talk multiple times. And I was like, wow, perfect. That's amazing. That's exactly what we should be doing. That's what we have to do and learn and train ourselves to do is how to self-talk. And we really talked about how that is why it's so important that we do and seek out and find challenging tasks to do and be a part of and train that way every single day. Because when you go find and you run into these other things that are other challenge in our life, your mind's going to be already trained and ready to go because you've done these other challenging things. And so in her mind, when she was really tired running that mile, because she hasn't done that in 20, 30 years, you know, just the day before she had done some really challenging things within this elevate, um, this elevate event that we held. And she was already reaping benefits from that. And she was self-talking and doing these things that we had been training on and doing the things that she learned the day before and push herself through because she learned how to do some of the self-talk and how to, how to have this positivity and that, that challenge she went through the day before uplifted her and encouraged her and empowered her to be better the next day. And so when she reached that challenge point, she, when she reaches that why in the road of quit or continue, her mind, her neurological pathway was already trained to be like, no, I got this. Like, I'm good. I'm strong. I got this. Like, I can handle this. I've done other difficult things. And I know that my body's capable. My mind's not making that, 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 or my mind is making that decision, knowing my body's capable. My body feeling a little tired is not making that decision for me. And so what a cool, cool benefit that she reaped within 24 hours of already going through other challenge and difficulty. And that goes to show you guys that when we do these things that are difficult, like waking up at 5.30 to jump on 
a 10, seven to 10 minute live when we could be sleeping. I didn't have clients this morning. I could have slept in and skipped the live, but I have discipline to be putting in my reps with you guys, putting in my reps on here, getting in my practice, building my confidence, doing the reps and the training I'm being called to do because it's important. And when we reach those difficult times when we could have slept in, you just don't. You know what I mean? You're like you're trained to be doing the right things and it just happens for you because when we reach that Y in the road, our neurological pathways already trained to pick the road less traveled, right? And that is so awesome, you guys. That is so encouraging of what we can be doing on the daily basis when sometimes it's hard to always feel like, did I do anything worthwhile today? Or did I, you know, am I doing the right things? So find the physical training, the mental training, and the difficulties, seek, seek them out. Seek out hard things to do every single day. Difficult things to do every day. D difficult thing isn't always physical reps, isn't always hitting the gym. It is a lot of the times, but for me, sometimes a difficult thing every day is actually sitting down and reading for 10 minutes. It's difficult for me to sit down and do that for 10 minutes. I don't enjoy it, you know what I mean? But the difficult thing from doing it over and over and, tra and training to do it that way helps just build the, the mental capacity to take on other challenges. So find some things you don't always like. It doesn't mean you have to be weak in them, but it might be just things that you don't enjoy to do. That's a big challenge for you to do and nail it for 10 to 12 minutes. Work on breathing with it. Work on the mindset of it and, and carry through. It's a really important piece of our journey of doing it differently in 2021 because we talked about that. You guys, when we're doing it differently, when we're at the end of the year and we're looking how much further we've traveled towards our big dreams, ambitions, and goals, that we can truly make a toast and know that this year that we made progress on them because we did things differently every single day and not just randomly when we thought about it every four to six weeks because you guys were on week 17, 18 of 2021. So think about that vision that you had at the end of 2020, at the beginning of 2021, when you said you were going to end the year a certain person. Have that vision and think about that person that you're training to be. And then what you, what do you have to do today to get to get closer to that person? We really have to have to put forth energy to that. Think backwards on what steps you have to make today to get a step closer to be that person. Because you can do it. It just takes more effort. It just takes more energy. It does take some more thought process. It just takes finding some challenging things that you don't always like to do and doing them every day. And then learning that facing challenge isn't as difficult as you thought it was. So you guys, it's not gonna get any easier if you don't just start. We have to start. We have to do things differently. You guys, I'm pumped. I gotta get driving to the gym here so I'm not late for my 6.30 client. I appreciate you guys jumping on. We'll be back again on Thursday, or on Tuesday next week. Tuesday, Thursday, we do this twice a week. We'll be back next week for week 18 to run two gun reps, 5.35 a.m. Tuesday, Thursday. We'll see you guys there. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. And we'll see you. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you next week.